welcome back to another vlog as you can see we are doing something a little bit different here we at the park now of course mr foster here ain't really enjoying it but i wanted to try something new he don't really like the outside i don't really like the outside either but i wanted to just have a picnic i've never had one before i got food all around mm. honey is not out y'all in daddy's lap how does it feel to be a father of three now? It's all right. I don't feel too different right now until she get like 13, 14, and I got to bring out my shotgun. We're, we're, not doing, we're not doing all that. Other than that, it don't feel too different right now. Uh, Who do you think she looks like? My subscriber says she looks like you in a mirror. I think she looks like little Malik. But one thing I did notice is going to the store is way more clothing options than her for boys. For boys, it's mainly just white, black, blue, green. You know, regular primary colors. But yeah, the girls, stuff is cuter skirts, for girls. Dresses, one, they got a bunch of stuff so but she she doesn't cry as much as mir did she's so much e easier baby do you think it's different of. like being a girl dad and from being like a boy dad not right now pretty much the same right now but uh like you said i can't tell the boys no so i know i won't be able to tell her no so we'll see in about 10 15 years we'll see how it is we'll see so we can look back and show these videos and see what happens so i agree oh yeah this is probably the last time we're coming outside y'all y'all won't see us do a picnic like this anymore uh but yeah, it's cool. Trying to get us to do something different. He not even trying, y'all. He been pouting the whole time we've been out here. Like, the sun ain't even out, y'all. So you can't even say it's hot. Like, the wind is blowing. Clearly, you can see it from my breeze. It's, it's really nice out here. Like, if I had me, like, a little book or not even a book, I could go to sleep out here. I could take a nap out here. That's how good it feels out here. Don't really have that much time left because at two what what two forty two fifty we gotta go pick up the boys. Luckily we're already like down the street from them, so we scheduled this out perfectly. Um, I almost kind of feel bad because I was like, dang, we should have brought them out here to the park. They would have loved to just come and be out here, but Amir y'all he would have been all over the place. So I was like, yeah, kind of glad we didn't bring them. Ready or I'm not ready yet. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm, I'm not ready. I'd rather go sit in the line for 40 minutes. I do need to pump y'all. Because I just finished eating. So I don't know. I at least want to see here till 2 30 minutes. Luz, we had decided to depart the park because our legs was trying our legs was starting to kind of grip up on us. So we are headed to pick up the boys. And then I don't know, y'all. It's just nice, lovely Friday. I don't know what else we might do today. Now look at that water. Kind of look dirty, but you know, bear with us Jacksonville folks. Back home, y'all. Baby girl is in my little mom cozy wrap that I absolutely love. I'm not gonna stop raving about it because if you have a fussy baby or your baby gets fussy and you put them in this wrap, girl, they instantly get quiet. Like she is soothed. And when I was sent this, it actually said that that's something that this does soothe it, soothes them. And it definitely does just that. But y'all, I am so frustrated when it comes to this breastfeeding journey. This is totally my fault. I don't think I put my nipple in there all the way, but when we left the park, y'all, I instantly put on my oop, I instantly put on my wearable pumps and tell me why when I took them off there was nothing in there, right? And my boots felt full as I could possibly, so I know there was milk in there. And I'm just like, I just didn't make sure my nipples were in there, and that's just on me. That's just my bad. But it's so frustrating because the hardest part for breastfeeding for me is just actually taking the time to pump. I do not like to pump. It's so aggravating because for the longest, I didn't have wearable pumps, right? I have a stationary pump where I have a sitting pump. So when I got home, because I have no milk and I sat for 20 minutes and wouldn't do it nothing, I had to come and pump. So I just pumped this stuff up and I need to store it, but everything is pretty much dirty. I need it cleaned. I'm tired. Malik's tired. And we just like, we're not doing nothing right now. We're just relaxing. So, uh, life of having a newborn. We're just tired, but we're getting through there. But back to the breastfeeding. Yeah, it's so frustrating, y'all. So, so frustrating. 
and that was my bad. I didn't make sure my nipples were in there, but also I don't really care for this wearable pump like that. The suction is not that great. And it sucks because I was sitting this for free and I was really hoping great things with this. This is the M5 pump, but yeah, the suction is just not that great. It is not better than my Lansano. My Lansano is just the best. It will drain me, okay? Suck me dry. This does nothing. The fact that I had this on there and didn't even know it wasn't pumping me, like, no, piss me off. <laughs> but if it had been on there, it still probably wouldn't have did anything. I don't care what mode I put this thing on there. It just doesn't work for me. And if you use this pump, let me know what you're doing. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Your girl don't read directions. So I probably could be doing something wrong. But yeah, not a fan. I am going to continue using it because I do like to use it. Like if I'm doing something or I need to clean up, Malik's not here and I need to pump, but the baby also needs me, I can just throw these on. Regardless of whether or not they're going to get anything out, they may get something and it will relieve a little bit of hurting this. So yeah and i returned the one that i bought from amazon but now i'm regretting it because i'm like that one had really really good reviews and yeah so i gotta work with what i got no worries but breastfeeding is definitely a journey and i'm trying to do this for a whole year guys i really want her to get the breast milk and then not even just the pumping situation but then making sure that you're eating right um i eat like a two-year-old toddler child like i don't like vegetables like that i don't i don't eat healthy y'all i know i should but i don't and so i know what you eat affects your breast milk and like most days she is great she is fine but like today she's super fussy and it makes me wonder like okay did i eat something to like affect my breast milk that's making her a little fussy so it's just frustrating because like my mind is all over the place and i'm trying to relax but i can't because she's fussy and i don't like to see her fussy because she turned all red and don't like to see it y'all i don't so if anyone has any tips and tricks on this breastfeeding thing definitely let me know especially for these little pumps here because right now the lansano is what we're going to be using moving forward um unless like i said i need to do something i'm super busy baby needs me and i just really need to pump i'll use these but and i know they have another one the uh s12 so if they send me that one hey i'll try it out but i won't be buying it I won't be buying it, no ma'am. Uh-uh. <laughs> Good morning, loves. Happy Saturday. I guess this is just going to be a weekend vlog because I didn't close out the vlog yesterday and we didn't really do anything after I talked to you guys yesterday. So, weekend vlog it is. I just stored the breast milk that I pumped. I didn't pump a lot, probably because I had already pumped early early this morning like twice and it was a lot then and then i haven't ate anything y'all it's so hard for me to eat breakfast like y'all i do not like to eat breakfast but if i don't consistently eat three times a day and drink consume a lot of water like that breast milk be low but she already has a bottle in there that y'all seen me made so i made that and then what i poured into my pitcher that's a bottle that's like four ounces and then i also have milk stored in the freezer so if push come to shove if i don't have enough after those two then we'll just defrost some milk but i'll probably eat me some lunch around 10 30 or 11 i'll eat something heavy um and then my milk should kind of pick up after that because i'm just not a breakfast person and i thought about making me some breakfast but we ain't got no salt and i don't I don't like seasoning not on my eggs so that's out but i really have nothing planned today we do need to go to the store and pick up something to cook i'm guessing we're gonna have spaghetti because it's the easiest thing to make 
and I don't know what else to eat. So that is what we're gonna eat, but I'm in my beauty room slash office because, say hey, Mir. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm in here because I need to do something to my nails. Um, I still have my press-ons that I absolutely love from Amazon, but they're actually too long, like baby cutting the baby when I'm changing her diaper or just picking her up or washing her and she like hollers and screams. So um, I can't wear these right now. Um, and then I need to order just like the smaller almond off Amazon, but I'm actually kind of getting sick of putting on press ons because they keep popping off. Like this isn't the normal glue that I use. I usually use like Gorilla Glue <laughs> from Dollar Tree, but they haven't had any. So I haven't been able to get that. So I'm just going to go ahead and polish my nails because I want to, Mir, move, get that out there. I want to make some shorts and TikToks today. Um, so I have content for the week. And then I'm thinking about doing a um, how to style my postpartum body video on YouTube, um, a styling video. But I don't know. I'm still debating because there's still some things that I need. Like I'm my beauty room looks different y'all usually my rack is over there but i moved it over here because i am trying to see what i have and don't have so i know when i put in the order wherever i order most likely she in because y'all put in the poll that y'all would like to see an accessories haul a spring capsule um spring shoe capsule haul and then an actual she in spring haul so I need to see what I got because it is so easy to just be buying things off she in and then you get it and you never use it. And I don't want to be wasteful. So I'm really trying to see what I have and what I don't have and what I need, right? So I have just some of the newer things that I got laid out and then see what I have in my arsenal. And if I don't have it, then I add it to my list of things that I probably need to shop for as far as like accessories and stuff like that. Like I don't have no silver accessories and I just bought a par a purse that has like silver on it. I'm like, I need silver accessories. I need some silver shoes. I did have some silver like pump like kitten heels that I absolutely love that I got from AliExpress, but I don't know where they are. So I'm going to have to order some more and get them off. Just get them off Shein. So just like that. So I always have that as a rule of thumb when I'm ordering clothes because I don't want to be wasteful. I always see what I have first and try to pick and match outfits and whatever I don't have, then that's what I'm going to order. So then I know when I get that order in, I have stuff for that stuff that I ordered to go with. Make sense? So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do my nails. I'm going to paint them real quick. And then I need to, like I said, create some content. But yeah, not really doing anything this weekend, y'all. We just chilling with me and the kids. I finished with my nails, y'all. I am not the best polisher, but that is the best I can do. They're like a white-ish gray, so it's perfect. It's going to go with pretty much all of my outfits and it just looks a lot cleaner when i'm like doing videos and i'm like pointing to things i don't really care for vlogs to have my nails done but when i'm doing short form content i like it to look nice and clean okay so that's what we got here i really just need to keep practicing with my polish because i really do prefer my nails to just be polished instead of wearing press-ons but i'm just not the best polisher as you can see like this hand always looks better than this hand because this is my dominant hand but yeah that's just gonna have to do i am dressed i did put some concealer on and some mascara just because i haven't used my naterium makeup balm yet and i want to use that tonight to see how well it gets the makeup off so do have more concealer and mascara and some lip gloss um uh, but what i have on i have on this stripe crop top this is from shein the quality is really good um i can't remember what brand this is on shein because you if you shop on shein you know there's like different brands for different clothing so i don't know what brand this is but i'll put it up on the screen so you guys know that their stuff is really good quality then i have on this long maxi skirt this is from this is from shein as well i bought this like years ago i just love it because it's really really comfortable and i love it's not drawstring but i love that it gives like the drawstring effect super super black i don't remember how long it took me last time when i was um pregnant with the mirror how long it took my stomach to not be black anymore but yeah there's definitely my stomach is definitely blacker than my face but it's all good we carry life okay so and then the shoes that i have on 
Love these. They're just these classic flaps. I need to, these classic flats. I need to get some more because as you can see, they're all beat up. But I just love to have these, especially if your toes are not done. These are just perfect shoes to have. Got these from Shein. So I'm probably going to add this to the list of things that I need. I also want to get like a brown color of these. That's like. That's like the color of this because that also would have went well with this look. So see how I can kind of mix and match my outfits? Yeah, so I added that to this because I do need like this color. But yeah, wearing these flats because like I told you, I do need to go to Walmart and get what we're cooking tonight. And just because I have on a lot of black, we're not going to do a black bag. We're going to do my coach bag, my coach tabby, size 18. Love this bag. It's really, really cute. And... I love that it's crossbody. I have never been really a fan of crossbody bags, but now that I have an extra child, um, I like to have crossbodies now just so I can be hands-free with my bag. So, yeah. This is what we doing today. Girl, it's just y'all. She has on this cute little outfit. I can't link it, y'all, um, because I think I got it from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but it's so cute. It actually came with a little headband to match the entire outfit, but... Her head's not big enough yet. <laughs> so I just use my little um, white headband that I have that I got like in every color from Timu. But y'all, she's getting so, so big because this outfit is like a three to six months. So baby girl is getting huge, okay? But we're getting ready to do some tummy time before we head to the store. So I just wanted to show y'all her cute little fit because we just be styling the profile and just like mom. Some tummy time, y'all. She not really feeling it. Oh, girl, you rolling over. Okay. So I just finished pumping using my M5, and I wanted to show y'all how much milk I got. And I was, um, I literally was on the pump for over 30 minutes, and this is all I got. One has three ounces and the other has two. So if I had used my Let's No Pump, my right side would have been a full cup, so five ounces. And the other one is usually always like two to three ounces. So I always get anywhere between eight to 10 each pump. But using these, for some reason, I just don't. But even though I don't care for the suction on these, I still really like to use them because it's just so convenient. I can just sit and pump and know how to hold them. You know, I can walk around the house and do things. So I do still like to use them even though the suction is not that great. But I wanted to show y'all like, for some reason, I just can't get full cups with these and I do with my Lancinos. So it's just weird, I don't know. I'm gonna keep playing with it to figure out what I'm doing. Like I told y'all, I don't really look at directions. So I could be doing something wrong, I don't know. And I thought about maybe is it because of the plant sizes, but this plant size is smaller. Like the plant size on my Lancino is a 25. And these I think are, this is it's a 24. So I mean, it's just slightly under. So I really, I in my opinion, I don't think there should really be much of a difference, but there is. I fed Alani right before I started pumping or right before I put the pumps on me. So she is knocked out on the couch. We did go to Walmart and get the dinner that we're gonna cook tonight. Remember I told y'all it was gonna be spaghetti, but no, we decided to grill. So we're gonna have some ribs, some chicken, and we got hot dogs, and then I'm gonna make some baked beans once everything is done. So that's our dinner it's for some night. I'm just trying to get all this milk out of here, y'all. Every little bit cute. And then I see it's some in there, so I want that. Like, give me all of it, y'all. Give me all the milks. So, yeah. So, if you look at it, so we got about... I pumped for over 30 minutes, and this is like five ounces combined. When, in my length, so no, it would have been all the way up to like eight or nine. So... Ahead and stored that up. I also just made a TikTok about these, um, so I probably will upload that to YouTube as a short. So if you see it, make sure you show love. You'll probably see it before you see this video. So 
I need to try to make two more um, TikToks and then that should do it. I should really take advantage of this time because baby girl is asleep over there. She's catching her Z's and Amir just showed out so much y'all at Walmart. We had to put him, we had to put him down. He in his room knocked out as well. So yeah, we got a quiet house. So that mean I can do all the things I need to do. Bonnie is still knocked out from her afternoon feeding y'all she is slipped <laughs> love to see it love to see it with this delicious meat for dinner y'all i'm excited i'm excited good morning y'all happy sunday it is almost noon and i was like you know what i still haven't washed my makeup brushes so we're gonna go ahead and do that now y'all I will not be repurchasing these makeup wipes. Y'all, I bought these in my last vlog. If you haven't seen that, definitely go watch. It'll be linked at the end of this video. But I've never bought makeup wipes that make my skin burn or sting. Like, as soon as I wipe my face with these, it stings, it burns. I, I don't know why. I'm gonna continue using them because I paid my money and I have two packs of these. It came as a two pack. But I was like, yeah, I will not be repurchasing these from Target. I'll just get the Walmart ones or even the ones at Dollar Tree. Like Dollar Tree ones that I bought before don't even like tingle and burn. So I don't know what that is. And this says it's plant-based. So I don't know why this isn't working for me. But yeah, it kind of burns when I use these. And I like to have makeup wipes for when I don't feel like, like going in and deep cleaning my face after I just wore makeup. So these are always just good to have on hand, especially when you're out of town and stuff. But yeah, I won't be repurchasing those because they're not, <laughs> they're not doing what it's supposed to do. I am six weeks postpartum tomorrow. It is so bittersweet because that means we're getting closer and closer to getting back to work. I'm actually kind of side of yells, guys, because I miss work. We will still be out until July, so that's great. So he'll be with the baby while I'm working, so that's beautiful. And then after that, once he goes back to work, she'll be with me. At least for the time being, we're gonna try it out and see how it works with her being home with me while I'm working because I really don't like the idea of putting her in daycare so young. I hated it when I had to do it with Amir, like I absolutely hated it. He would get sick so much and I just did not like that, especially he couldn't talk. I know some people, you, you just don't have a choice, but I work from home and I have a choice that I can keep her here. And thankfully, the job that I have, I'm not doing anything where I'm talking to anybody on the phone. Well, I do talk to people on the phone, but it's my choice to call them. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's calling me. It's controlled by me, if that makes sense. Um, I'm solving employee issues all day, but I'm mainly solving it through email and tickets and stuff like that. And I'm, I, I do a lot of administrative work where I'm updating um, employee information in the system. So not really doing anything where I need to talk to somebody. So we're gonna see how it goes. It is gonna be very hard and tough for me because when Malik does go back, thankfully it'll still be the summertime so the boys won't be back at school yet. But when they do go back to school, um, I have to take the boys to school in the morning, pick them up and I'll have a baby with me and I'm working. That's gonna be kind of tough. So I gotta make sure that when that time does come and if it does become overwhelming for me, I need to be vocal about it because I can so see that becoming a disaster of me just having an attitude every day and me not voicing my opinion and I'm just frustrated and overwhelmed and yeah. So we'll see y'all. In a perfect world, I would just love to have a nanny, like take the boys to school, pick them up and watch her Monday through Friday while I work. That's something that I want to look into and see, you know, is the cost that much different from just putting her in daycare. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. And let me know if any of you work from home and you have a newborn or baby and do you keep them home with you? Like, how does that work for you? Because I'm nervous. I feel like that's gonna make me feel like that all I, that I'm a stay at home mom because work never ends for me. Because literally, while I'm actually working, I'm still working with the baby. I don't know, y'all. But we'll see. We shall see. I'm feeling good. I have a doctor's appointment on Wednesday for my six week checkup for them to clear me. So hopefully everything is good. I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, so I can actually start doing my cardio and stuff. 
um they'll probably check my pressure last time i went to the doctor my pressure was okay so it seems that my preeclampsia has like sort of gone away but i still need to make sure that i'm eating good um exercising doing all the things to keep that pressure down i am on the fence okay malik did not get his vasectomy yet and i'm just like i can't not be on birth control because when i tell you i don't want any more kids i don't i just don't i am completely satisfied with the two plus one that i have i don't want any more <laughs> after that experience with this pregnancy i just never want to go through that again i always said that i wanted like three or four but i'm i'm i am my heart is full okay i'm good but i just really don't want birth control because it's just so many side effects to it even though i didn't really have any issues with my birth control i had an iud like i didn't get a period i had it in for five years um but i did notice like like slight mood changes i was like moody and then it did cause like bloating and stuff like that so i was like i don't really want to go through that but i don't want to get pregnant so it's like what you gonna do if you guys have a good recommendation of one let me know i don't want to do pills i don't want to do depo um i would prefer something that is that i don't have to remember to do so that's why i like that the iud they stick it in my uterus and i go on by my day <laughs> okay let me close this out looks like what ain't that real bad what and we out <laughs> bye love <laughs>